passionate about music. When I got told I was going to be here performing, headlining Brighton and Manchester, I was on top of the world. And all my best friends are gay for crying out loud. Like, I've, I've got... I hate it in this world when people have things against gay people because at the end of the day we're all humans sorry to say it like this but this is the way it is we all the same way we all got blood running through our veins the same way we're all humans we all have feelings so don't judge anyone at all it was my first pride full stop (laughs) um so it wasn't you know i couldn't have uh, i couldn't think to start it in a better place than brighton Uh, i love coming to brighton when especially when i have time off as well um the plan was today was to get here early enough to walk along, along the pier, eat some fish and chips. But no, that never happened. We got here an hour before stage time. Um, but it was an amazing crowd. Uh, I came off stage feeling like a million dollars. So I really have to thank that audience out there because they, they were amazing. To the point where I jumped off the stage with a bad, a bad ankle. So, and have you had a busy summer this year? It's been crazy. I mean, we're recording the second album, doing loads of events. Um, also coming off of my tour in February. I feel like I haven't stopped, but uh, it's been great. I'm, I'm a very, very lucky girl, so it's been awesome. And in terms of your second album, just to describe the sound, is it still kind of what you're established for? Is it quite new? It's still very much upbeat, because that's what I love. I love to dance. I love to shake my booty, as you just saw on stage. Um, so, you know, uh, the ballads on there are going to be ballads that are going to make you feel like you want to cry but the up-tempo stuff is what really uh, is is me because it's what I love to do you know so it's different it's slightly dangerous still pop still my personality but I think people will be pleasantly surprised hopefully fingers crossed and is it great to have Joe McKeldry another X-Factor alumni here as well absolutely I think it was great I, I'm only angry at him because he was late <laughs> and made me rush to get on stage because he was now late but it's fine because I love Joe and he's my very good friend um, but yeah I love him I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Joe I remember when I was younger and I used to see this thing with like all these American celebs and stuff like Missy Elliott was on it Timbaland was on it it's like an advert telling people to stop illegally downloading I can't remember if you remember it but it was years ago and that's what made me realise oh my god people actually illegally download it's banned in my family like and it doesn't happen in my family at all my mum is really against it because she used to sing as well she was in Soul to Soul so she knows what it is that it's our bread and butter at the end of the day so we love to sing we love to give people music and what we want is our fans to buy into it not to illegally download it. What do you make of X Factor this year? Because it's so different with all the new judges. At the end of the day, X Factor is such a fantastic platform that I, I think it's wrong to slate it because people that don't know what you go through in that show, they, you don't know what we're all going through unless you're in it, you know? Um, and I give thanks to it because that's the reason why I'm here today talking to you guys and being on that fantastic stage and being able to go on tour and being able to sell over four million records. Like, I would never have had that opportunity if it wasn't for X Factor and Simon Cowell and those who voted for me. So anyone that's got an opinion, I respect that because everyone's entitled to it. But I'm trying to be that example, along with other winners, that the X Factor is an awesome way in as well as going to a record label, etc., you know, at the end of the day, expect the rules. Passionate about music.